Hey there, welcome back. My name is Katie and this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. If you're new to my channel, we are here in South Louisiana and um, we welcome you to our channel today and hope that you subscribe and share this video with others if you think that they would be interested. So we live here in South Louisiana and we do have just a little bit of property here that we're trying to do a little backyard homestead on. And um, we have chickens and a garden and I share a lot of cooking and canning. And um, if we do little things around Louisiana, we'll take you along on those adventures also. But today we are going to be doing blueberry muffins. My friend has a lot of blueberry bushes and this is blueberry season. So today we're gonna do some blueberry muffins. She has gifted me with many blueberries. So um, we are going to turn them into some delicious baked goods. So let's just get started. All right, I will leave a link to this original Pinterest post down in the description box. Um, I did triple this recipe because I am gonna bring some of these muffins to work. Um, I did not add the cinnamon the recipe calls for, and I'm not, and I'm also gonna be adding oats to the crumble topping for these. So that's kind of the different variations I have done. So in my mixture here, I have, again, I'm, I'm tripling the recipe, I have four and a half cups of flour and I'm going to be adding two and a quarter cups of sugar. And we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of salt to this. This is my Redmond Real Salt. Got lots of minerals in it, that's why it's got a lot of specks in it. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of baking powder. Um, baking powder, if you don't look carefully in um, the grocery store, can have aluminum in it. But this is um, a baking powder you can find that does not have aluminum in it. I'm sure there's other ones out there, but this is the one I can find. And I think I actually bought this one on Amazon because it, my local store was out of it. Um, so I'll leave this link in the description box if you're interested in purchasing that. So two tablespoons of baking powder. Now what we're gonna do, and because I'm tripling this, I am gonna kinda do it in three stages because I don't want to mess up the ratios. Let me give this a little mix real quick. to do. Alright, so what it says to do is you're going to do a third of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm using avocado oil here. And it says we're going to add one egg. Let me get a fork, I'm gonna mix that up. And this is where I don't wanna mess up these ratios. Then you're gonna add milk to equal one cup. So I'll do this step three times. All right, we'll blend this just until blended. All right, I still see a little bit of dry in here, but that's perfect because what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in our blueberries and I don't wanna over mix this.
All right, and to this, we're gonna add four and a half cups of the blueberries. There's some blackberries mixed in, so I'm gonna have to pull the blackberries out as I measure out the blueberries. All right, that's our four and a half cups. If you wanted to add some lemon extract to this, that would be perfect. It is a pretty stiff dough, but it bakes up beautifully. All right, I'm gonna clean up all this area and I'll get my muffin tin ready and we will get to scooping. Okay, I feel like these are the cutest little muffin liners. They make them look like little tulips. And so these, I like that you can also put um, more batter in it than um, a typical muffin liner. So these are the ones we're using. I got these on Amazon. I can leave these linked also. Anything I leave linked in the description box does not charge you anything extra if you order it from my link. It just helps my channel out. So I'll leave these linked in the description box. My daughter's friend is Hispanic and I was doing a birthday party for her and um, I ordered these to make conchas in, which is a, a sweet bread that they use to dip in their coffee. I think that's what they're called. Anyway, that's why I bought them because these colors I thought were perfect for that. And then I mentioned also we're gonna have a crumble topping, so we'll do that real quick. So in my bowl here, I have, I actually, I quadruple the topping recipe just to make sure I have enough to cover everything. So in here, I have three fourths of a cup of flour, and I'm going to be adding a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and 12 tablespoons of melted butter, or softened butter, not melted, softened. So we'll get that in here. I am gonna add some salt to this. Anytime I have something sweet, I add a little bit of salt, about half a teaspoon. It's not in the original recipe, but we're gonna add that. And then also not in the original recipe is I'm gonna add some rolled oats to this. I'd say that was about a third of a cup. Not much, just a little bit extra crunch. 
We'll just mix all this up until it gets like a sand texture. That's about what we're looking for. I'm gonna get my cookie scoop. I think this is the quarter cup size, but this is what we're using. And because I have these taller liners, I can generously fill them. Probably should be preheating my oven, 400 degrees. All right, so one recipe of these makes six and I've tripled it and I have my 18 here, but I always end up with extra batter in here. Um, so what I usually do is I'll make a few of the mini muffins. Let's see if there's anybody that needs a little bit more. Even with these big, huge amounts in these cups, it still makes way more than the recipe says. All right, so we will move on to our little crumb topping here. And the best thing to do is just use your hands and just kind of dab some here on the top, which is, this is why I make extra of the crumb topping is because it makes more muffins than the recipe says. I don't, maybe the recipe is for the big giant muffins instead of these regular size, I don't know. The other day when I made this recipe, I, um, I made all the, the 18 of these. <clears throat> I did, I don't know, it was like 12 mini muffins and then I still had batter left and I made like part of a loaf. But I'm out of mini muffin liners now because I used them all that day. So I'll just have to put these this rest in the loaf pan. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna get these in the oven and they are going to bake for 25 minutes. Okay, we'll come back when it's time to check them out. All right, our muffins are out. I have this big box of them to bring to work. I'm gonna open it and I'll show you. They don't fall everywhere. There we go. Big old box. I have my one here, I'm gonna taste test for you. Let me open it up. Super moist and tender still. Crumb topping on top. Let me give it a taste. 
Mm. Gotta wipe my fingers. They're so moist. It's like sticking to my fingers. Not overly sweet. If you heat this for breakfast with a little bit of butter on it, perfect. With some coffee or milk if you don't drink coffee. I hope you give this recipe a try. And I thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I ask that you do that and share it with anybody that you think would be interested and follow along with us. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.